In this movie we'll look at how to set up the base symbol for your title block. Now just to refresh, what I'm talking about here is what we'll need to, to do to set up this symbol here so that it uh, has exactly what you require. This is done in, a, in an external Vectorworks file and if we go and look in the Finder or in Windows Explorer the default location for this is in the Vectorworks 2008 folder. On a Windows computer this will be in Program Files on your C drive. And then we look in Libraries, Defaults and VAA Title Blocks. And this is the file here that we're going to open. Now as soon as you localize or customize this file you want to take it out of this folder because this is not normally somewhere that gets backed up and if you reinstall Vectorworks you'll lose your changes. So take it out of this folder and put it over here into the VAA title blocks folder. And that would be just picking this up, dragging it over there and putting it in here into your user folder. Now the user folder location is defined in Vectorworks Preferences in the User Folder tab and you can see here that it's telling me where my user folder is. If you do this on a PC then you'll see where it is and if you want to jump to that location if you click Reveal in Finder or in Windows this will say Reveal in Explorer then you'll jump straight to the location where it is which I already have open here and that's this here, 2008, this is the user folder down here. Now I'm going to put that back there because I don't actually want to move my one, but that's what you're going to do, you're going to put it into this folder over here. Let's open this file and take a look at it. It has a series of predefined symbols in here and if any of these are close to what you want then I recommend all you need to do is to edit the symbol. These are the symbols here, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one down here and this one. This here is the document transmittal and this is also where you edit that and we'll look at that in a separate movie. So let's say it's this one here that you want to edit and it's called VAATB Vert 1. So we'll double click that to go into edit symbol mode and here is the guts of the symbol. Essentially there are two parts to this symbol. There are the parts that are static, in other words that stay the same in each title block and then there are the parts that change. And I'm just going to move this over to the side and just split these apart. This here is the part of the title block that doesn't change from one title block to the other. In other words, the lines and the headings and so on. Over here, what we have is a group of text blocks, individual text blocks, that are set up for each individual field that I want to transfer out of the edit dialog into my title block. Now let's take a look at this one first. This is actually a group. You see here it says group. And so you're allowed to have one group in this title block symbol and in that group is all of the static stuff. So I've now entered into that group and you'll see here I've now just got blocks of text and lines. And so I can do any editing that I want to in here, for example change this address, double click and I can start typing to change the details there, put my logo in here, move any of this stuff around and when I'm done I click exit group. So just to reiterate that is one group in the title block and this contains all of the static information that doesn't change from title block to title block. Now the other stuff over here, these are just individual static text. But the key is that each one has 
an identifier in it. Now I'm just going to back out of this a few times. I'll undo to get it back so that these things are aligned. Now they're aligned again. So I can see where this needs to be positioned in relation to the static group. And what I've done with each one of these is to set its font, its font size. I've set its text alignment. And you can see the text insertion point in the top left hand corner there. I've set its text vertical alignment and I've also t set the text spacing. I've also turned on text wrapping. This means that if I enter more than one line of text it's automatically going to wrap down to a second or third line if required. So I've done that for all of the title blocks, uh, sorry, all of the text blocks and each one contains the identifier to say look this is this this text block is to be used for a client name this is the project name this is the drawing name the project number and so on now over here you'll see something called stamp this is the drawing stamp text and you'll notice that the insertion point for this is on the right hand side so you'll see here horizontal align right so this means that my drawing stamp is going to uh, expand out to the left rather than over to the right like these ones are with a left-hand insertion point. This single uh, 2D locus and these are inserted with this tool up here, that's the locus tool, this defines the position where the north point is going to appear by default. So if I position this over here then when I turn on my north point that is where the north point is going to appear in my title block. Now there are two more 2D locus points here one in this group or they're both in this group and if I double click this group again let's go into the group there's one there and there's one there and if you add these to the group and I recommend that you do these will define the bounding box for the title block itself and this will influence where it get, gets positioned on the page and if you change the position to bottom left uh, so, sorry to bottom center or top right or something like that these will define where top right actually means let's just exit out of this and go back to this title block here and I'll show you what I mean. Those two locus points will define where this title block appears when I do this sort of thing. So if I go to top right, this is the, the locus point is right, uh, sorry the locus point is there, the top left one is there and the bottom right one is there. If I go to bottom right then that defines, those two locus points define where this title block sits in relation to my page when I start moving it around. Now once you've done editing the title block it's probably also a good idea to change the name of the title block so that you know what it is. You'll probably want to use your company name or whatever if you go to the resource browser and we'll click the home button here so that we're seeing the title block resources file here you'll look for the title block that you edited and it's this one here you'll right click on that choose rename and then you can put in the name of the title block that you want to uh, to call this particular one click OK and then save the file and your editing is done. Now the other thing I want to show you about the symbols and explain and let's click the home button here when you add north points or title block symbols two new symbol folders will be created in your document one is called VAA NP symbols, north point symbols, and if we open that, you'll see here are all of the north points that we've used in this drawing. Let's go up one level. And
and we also have one called VAATB symbols and this is where all of the title block symbols that have been used in this drawing are going to be stored. Now when you use the title block tool and you choose the base symbol title blocks that you've already used or inserted in this drawing will appear above this grey line. The ones that you haven't used, in other words the ones that are still in the default content file that we were just looking at, are below the grey line. So if you choose one that's above the grey line, it's going to be using the title block symbol that is already in your drawing. So what this means is that if you go back and edit the master copy of this in the symbol file, if you then want to see that change reflected in your drawing, you will have to import that title block symbol into existing drawings and replace the existing title block that you might have in there. Now let me just explain that again. This is where the title blocks reside and when you open a brand new drawing and insert a title block those title blocks are going to come from this file. In an existing drawing where you've already used the title block that title block symbol already exists in this drawing. So if you do want to edit your master copy and you do that edit in this file and you want to see that edit in an existing file then what you'll have to do is to import that title block from the master symbol file into your drawing and you do this by going to the VAATB resources file finding the one that you want right clicking choosing import and it will then say well there's already a symbol in this drawing with that same name and what you actually want to do is to replace it and once you replace it, and we didn't make any changes so there won't be any, then all you need to do is to update the title block for the revisions to the title block to, to, make, uh, to, to appear. And by updating a title block that would mean maybe going this, just toggling this on and off, or you could come in here to the revise issue print command and enter a revision or just do uh, edit the drawing stamps or something like that. Something that's going to cause all of the title blocks in the drawing to regenerate and then any changes that you've made that you, ne that you want to flow through to, your, uh, to the title blocks in your existing drawings is going to take place. Just one thing I forgot to mention. When you're setting up your symbol and let's go back into this one that we were looking at before. The insertion point of the symbol is very important and th these crosshairs here uh, indicate the insertion point of the symbol and it should always be at the bottom right hand corner of your title block and generally exactly where that bottom right hand locus point is which you can see there. Let's take a look at one of the other ones, this one for example, you can see that the insertion point is at that bottom right hand corner in line with that locus point, that locus point being in the static symbol group which I just entered by double clicking. Exit that twice. Let's look at this one here, this is a, a, a title block that's has a, a different proportion but the setup is exactly the same. We have our group that is the static text and within that group there is a locus at the bottom right hand corner and all the way over here at the top left hand corner and the locus at the bottom right hand corner corresponds to the insertion point of that symbol. So there you have it.